Some of you have probably seen some videos in the past couple of years calling this man a bully or inspiring throngs of his fans to spew hate or even personal attacks, labeling him a liar or even calling him disingenuous. Shame. 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 Shame, shame, shame. What's happening, good people? Today I'm here to introduce you to Rob Chapman. For those of you that don't know him, and even those of you that do know him as the person who drops his friends like bad habits as his success skyrockets, well, all I can say is I enjoy his content. I enjoyed it before, and I'm going to continue to enjoy it. Please watch all the way through the end, no matter which side of the camp you're on, and make your own decisions. I kind of missed that time and period where all these videos to the negative came out during the COVID era. I was kind of busy with New York City trying to solve that whole pandemic thing. But I'm kind of glad that I did because I might have even taken issue with some of these things that they have brought up. And there'll be links down in the description to all the videos so you can make your own decision. I'm only going to highlight one of the issues mainly because I want to get to the good parts of why you should watch them. But also it kind of highlights why a lot of times you need to do a little bit further investigation into things. Not saying that the creators of the content were disingenuous in their actions, but Rob Chapman does a Christmas special every year. There's a video that he uploaded a couple weeks ago where it's very clearly targeted at people who aren't guitar players and therefore not regular viewers of his channel. And he says this, which is very, very illegal. And in this one in particular, in the part in the segment, he states that it's not a sponsored video whatsoever. This video is not sponsored by anybody. I didn't tell anyone I was doing this. And then as he's unwrapping one of the packages, he shows two snake oil pedals. Some of the finest distortion and overdrive pedals I have ever tried in my entire life. And he says he's not affiliated with this product whatsoever. I have no affiliation to this brand whatsoever. And that's in the point in this video where they kind of go off and saying, calling him a liar. He owns the goddamn company. When you actually see his reaction. <laughs> this, genuinely, genuinely, these are incredible pedals. And know him a little bit. He's doing this in a jokingly manner because he thinks that the avid viewer who's watching would be in on the inside joke, knowing that he is affiliated with these guitar pedals that it's his company. And if you are a regular viewer, you probably would have gone back in his catalog or seen in the previous videos, about 20 or so ago, that he had a video named this. If you were new to the channel, you might think that he might not have any affiliation with this company. So was he being disingenuous? From a creator standpoint, I don't really think so. Sometimes as a creator, you think that your viewers have been watching you for a long time and that they are in on all the knowings of what's going on with you and your companies or what you are affiliated with and what you're not. It's sort of like an inside joke type thing where people might not get it, but you assume that all your viewers understand. I'm going to leave the friends aspect and the business side for you to look at yourself and do an investigation, make your own determination. But all I ask is that you look at it through the lens that you look at your own life. Friends change, we change, you change, business aspects change, people get bought out all the time, businesses have to make changes for things to succeed. But if you take umbrage to the business aspect, then you probably would never eat McDonald's. You would probably think that Billy Joel's a scumbag. There's so many things that if you actually really looked at it as a whole. But for the brighter side of Chappers, or AKA the Monkey Lord, as he's affectionately known as. He does quality gear reviews for Anderton's UK. If you don't know what that is, you should definitely check out those videos. They're really fun. He's been a fixture at NAMM, whether it was beginning with Orange Amplification or even as with his own guitar company. A frequent gamer in his early years, his videos were really fun about just gear reviews, eating pizza, and playing Diablo. In his 17 year career of YouTube, if you go back through his catalog, you'd be amazed at all the stuff he's done and how much he's accomplished. Please don't take this as an invitation to grab pitchforks and torches and whatever other paraphernalia you want and go after either side in the comments. Actually take this as an opportunity 
to look at is content creation as a whole and just enjoy what you enjoy. And if it bothers you, it just not your cup of tea, click away and check out something else. But the problem with the internet and social media is that you could say anything these days and people may not believe it, but if it's out there, hopefully you all are digging me highlighting all these other content creators out there in the guitar community. They're definitely better than I am. And if you're not really liking what I'm putting out there, hopefully I'm pointing you to somebody that will more resonate with you. And then maybe someday somebody might do it for me. You all have been a fantastic audience. And as always, stay tuned.